Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Arjun has always been a futuristic platform but heavily ignored and victim of delays. It's a shame that we make a huge investment of time and money both in developing indigenous technology and then do not operationalize it and further refine it and take it to next level. The reason why we are talking about Arjun MBT is the recent publication of DRDO where the organization is talking about the futuristic main battle tank which will be unmanned. The unmanned main battle tank makes perfect sense in the modern day and futuristic battles. The kind of anti-tank missiles have been developed with top attack capabilities leaves any tank vulnerable to them. Further, the unmanned tank will be much lighter as it will not have 3 to 4 crews operating it and other arrangements made which is required for crew operations such as seats, wide area displays, gunner sights, etc. etc. Further, the loss of tank will not lead to any human losses which is another most important criteria. The unmanned tanks can be much lighter, compact and at the same time equally lethal. But it's also equally important to understand the technology that is required to develop the unmanned tanks. Has DRDO developed this technology? Let's try to understand this in detail. In order to operate an unmanned main battle tank, the operator needs terrain information which is available in digital form as spatial information through Geographic Information System GIS. A GIS is a collaborative information system which helps in visualization, analysis and measurement of spatio-temporal data associated with land, sea and space. The GIS is used in command and control C2 systems, command, control and communication C3 systems, tactical command, control, communication and intelligence TAC C3I systems for various armed forces, weapons such as artilleries, surface to air missile systems, etc. Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics CAIR has undertook a technology demonstration project named Indigenous Geographic Information System or in short Indy GIS Technology. Indy GIS is a platform for customization and integration for various military applications. Indy GIS project was sanctioned in 2007 which resulted in development of indigenous GIS kernel named Indy GIS which is available to DRDO community and user community in the form of software development kit. Almost all the latest indigenously developed weapons such as main battle tank Arjun, QR SAM missile, Akas NG and Indian Air Force are making use of Indy GIS. It is a very powerful piece of software which completely changes the battlefield scenario in terms of providing excellent overall situational awareness. It provides seamless visualization of land and sea maps for amphibious operational planning, measurements of location, distance, direction, height, slope aspect, curvature of terrain surfaces, 3D simulation of perspective view, fly through view and orthographic view of terrain creation and manipulation of operations overlay using customizable Indian military symbols and subsequent transmission of the encoded information for the operation overlays between different nodes. These informations are integrated with GPS, INS, radar, lidar, sonar and UAV. In summary, it's going to be eyes and ears of our armed forces and much of which is already in use. So by now you would have understood what is Indy GIS, where it's being used and how this technology will be used in futuristic unmanned vehicles. The game changing role of UGCV has been acknowledged worldwide and many countries have embarked on long term unmanned ground combat vehicle development programs on different vehicle platforms. Of particular importance is the UGCV developed on heavy tracked combat platforms due to its decisive role in the front line of the battlefield. As a proactive effort in this critical domain, 
and to provide technology superiority to Indian Armed Forces. CVRD or Combat Vehicle Research and Development Establishment has proposed the design and development of a UGCV based on MBT Arjun MK1A tracked combat platform. The objective of the proposed project is the design, development and field validation of a UGCV on MBT Arjun MK1A with 120mm main gun as the primary weapon. One of the major challenges in the development of the system is route planning over long distances, far beyond the perpetual ranges of the onboard sensors. Another challenge is the provision of a user interface for the unmanned vehicle at a remotely placed control station to provide contextual information to the operators. NDGIS is proposed to be employed to meet ever two challenges. It will be used to provide the operator with a visual perspective of the operational terrain and the location of the vehicle in that terrain. Further, NDGIS will be used to generate a feasible route for the vehicle to follow to reach to the operator defined target location in the terrain. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.